Watch you guys, got another video here for you. This one's a, a new rogue that's doing the rounds. It seems like uh, rogues are doing a bit of a comeback. This is one called PC Defender 360. Looks a little bit like Norton, but it is a fake scam uh, bit of software. It's acting to be uh, some sort of antivirus program or security program. And uh, I'm going to be showing you how to remove this from the system. It's very easy to do. Uh, but if you have got this on your system and you're a bit of a novice to computers, then don't worry, it is a scam and uh, don't pay for it, okay? I'm going to show you how to remove it in this video. So the way we're going to remove it is uh, by putting either a registration code in there or you can actually go into safe mode and remove it from there and I'll show you how to do that. Now you can see it does the normal stuff here, pretty much uh, blocks everything as you can see. And also when you try to use uh, Internet Explorer, and also Chrome, it blocks all those out as well as you can see. Now if you want to register it, I'm going to show you the key code that you can use. You want to click on register and you can see here purchase now, purchase later. Leave these alone, you don't need to worry about these. This is the one you want to go to. Enter activation code, okay? And then once you get in here, you want to put in your activation code and this is the activation code that you want to use to activate, okay? It's a bit of a a long one there and it's a bit of a weird one but that's the code that you need to use and it should be on the screen right now okay and then all you need to do here is just click on activate and that will activate the product it won't remove it from your system but it will allow you to run certain programs to remove it okay and that's exactly how you can do that if you if that doesn't work and the activation code doesn't work then you're going to need to go into safe mode and i'll show you how to do that now to get into safe mode um you're going to need to uh Follow the instructions on the screen right now. So let's reboot the system and get into safe mode. Okay, so at the advanced boot options here, we're running a Windows 7 32-bit machine, but this uh, rogue will infect uh, any Windows operating system. So what we want to do here is just come straight down to either safe mode or safe mode with networking. We're just going to use safe mode here uh, just to make sure that we can get in there. There'll be no internet access here, okay, but what we need to do is just remove the actual rogue and then we can reboot the system back into the desktop. Okay, now we're at the uh, safe mode. I'm just going to close this off here. Now this does damage the actual uh, executable uh, file in the registry so you can't actually run any applications but we'll fix that in a second but the first thing we want to do is remove this from the system so we're going to go to start and computer here and we're going to go up to organize and folder and search options here view and show hidden files and folders and drives and we're going to take the tick out of hide extensions click OK here you can change those back afterwards now once we go inside here you'll see a, a folder that's appeared now called program data we're going to go into there and there is the actual folder with all the content of that actual rogue in there okay and that's the one we need to remove from the system okay so we're going to remove all this stuff from the system so we're just going to delete the whole folder like so Okay, so what we need to do here now is reboot the system. So let's reboot the system. Okay, we're now back at the desktop, but we still got an issue here. We need to fix uh, our executable part. And you can see here, if we try to uh, open up Task Manager or anything like that, open up our browser, it's now broken. It doesn't work. Okay, but we're going to fix that. And we're going to do that by coming down to our run bar here. And I'm going to type in an address. This is going to give us a file that's going to fix our issues. Just going to quickly type this out and I'll just need to do fix exe
Now once we've done that, we should be able to download our file, which is now downloaded, as you can see. And I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop. We can now close that, we don't need that now. And then once we've got that, we can now right click and open this with 7-zip, okay? Now if you don't have 7-zip, you can use any type of uh, zipping tool. So what we're going to do here is run this. Say yes to that and click OK. And we don't need these anymore, so we can get rid of those. And then once we've done that, we should be able to click on our programs. As you can see, that's all now fixed. Like so. And we should be able to open up our task manager. Okay, there we go. So what we want to do now is you want to download uh, Malwarebytes. And you want to go on the internet and download that. So you want to go to Malwarebytes. There's a free download. And then click on that and install that and run that on the system. So just go through and install this and once you've done that you can then run some software on the system to remove any remnants that are left behind. Now there shouldn't be too much left on the system but if you want to run this and then Hitman Pro and some other tools you can do all that and watch some of my other videos and that will help you uh, clear up any remnants left behind. So we'll always check for updates first and then once we've done that we can uh, click on the quick scan and that will run a quick scan on the system. Okay, that's a scan nearly finished. So we'll click OK here. And as you can see, we've got a couple of registry keys. There's an actual download there, take no notice of that. That's just another file that I've downloaded, but there's an actual um, couple of registry keys here that need to be removed, okay? And what we're gonna do here is just remove those now it will probably be just this one you're going to get this is another uh, infection that I just did just a few seconds ago but this is the one you need to take care of so we're just going to take care of all those and then restart the system so that's basically how you can remove a PC Defender 360 from your system pretty straightforward and easy to do uh, but if you follow those steps, you should be back up and running in no time. So I hope this helps you out. hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed the videos, hit that like button, guys. And also subscribe to my channel for any latest videos that I upload. And you'll keep up to date with those. Okay, and I shall see you again in the next video. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your support. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.